Hello. Hey. How are you doing? Welcome back. Before we start, please smash the like button. First round, baby. Cannon, volcano eruption, hard pencil, lighthouse, cannon. Let's make a cannon. Camera, baby. Or does he prefer Sony? Ah, it's a joke. Ah. <laughs> no, I prefer Canon. Really? Why is that? Uh, no special reason okay. in particular. Okay. But I know all the big YouTubers, they use like Canon 80D, you know? Oh, some of them use Sony. Some of them. But most of them use Canon. Okay. Canon also makes printers. Sony made the PlayStation. Yeah, and TVs. And headphones. And more, I guess. Yep. They're both from Japan, I think. Yes, that's right. Sony is from Japan, I know that. They make good stuff, just like the Germans. <laughs> wow, that is a big cannon that you're building. Too big. Oh. You know that thing where they uh, put a human inside the cannon and then they shoot themselves? Yeah. That's actually very dangerous. Oh, really? I, I read it was super safe. I read that one in eight cannon shooters end up dying. That's more than I'd expect. Actually, 100% ends up dying, but eight, one in eight ends <laughs> up dying while shooting the cannon. Well, then they just did not calculate it correctly. I mean, I've seen those videos where a guy uh, shoots himself out of a cannon, but uh, he just overshot it. He went too far. Yeah, sometimes they, they don't shoot too far. They shoot too close. And then they fall to the ground again. It's just easy to go wrong. Just like fire spitting. I've seen so many videos of people fire spitting and then their face catches fire. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of the first thing you think about, isn't so it? So just don't do it. <laughs> Simple solution, don't do it. Well, of course, you gotta take some risks in life. Not with fire or cannons. Okay. Don't play with fire or you might get burned. The way that human cannon thing works is it's not actually like a explosion directly. No, they have like this thing that pushes them at their feet. It's a metal plate, mm -hmm. and then it pushes them. Mm -hmm. Yep. And how's it being pushed? Because of an explosion. So that is an explosion. Uh, That's exactly was it, how a cannon works. Or was it just compressed air? Maybe it was just compressed air. I don't know. Well, then it's an air cannon. Okay, so it's pretty lame. Well, that's good. Very lame. What do we do? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. It's pretty big, so we might win off of that alone. Just off of size. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> Alright then, here we start voting. Yep, baby. You know the drill. Gun. Nice one. First one. Pretty cool. Shooting an obsidian ball. Bowling ball? Obsidian. The hardest material after bedrock. Wow. Whoa, big wheels. Nice. Epic. Um, That's terrible. Okay. Lame. Nice one. Nice. Cool. It's firing at a castle. Nice. Nice. Does that actually work though? Can you break a castle wall? Probably. So this one's firing TNT. The TNT cannon. <laughs> Meh. Nice. Beautiful. Looks kind of bent though. How does that work? It's like a gun. Uh, this is we not have a, a cannon? ship with two paddles. Lame. Okay. Where are the cannons? Yeah. That's oh. a cannon. And it's bedrock cannonball. <laughs> cool. Epic. This one's shooting straight up fire. Flamethrower. Lit. Cool. That's, That's ours. ours. It's nice and big. Has some uh, flame pattern. Yeah. I'm I think hoping... we make a chance here. Well, we are using yellow stained clay here, so no. Nope. And we did not make a chance. Okay. Second place. Good job. Nice one. I like this one. Yeah. It's cool. Has a castle wall. Storming the castle. Definitely the best one. Second, Second round. round. Piano, glove, panda, crayons, cave. 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 Let's make the entrance to a cave. All right. We've done this theme how many times now? Many times. 20. Sure. 100. Plenty. 5 million. Caves are interesting, huh? How do they form? How can it just be a random hole in the wall? Yeah, very good question. How does that work? Oh, you don't know? No. No? No, I don't know. Explain it. Go ahead. Uh, I think it's just, uh, you know, the tectonic plates shifting. Okay, I can understand how you get a mountain. But maybe, you know, small crinklies. Small crinklies in the mountain. The plate okay. doesn't have to be perfectly uh, straight, you know? Yeah, that's how it usually looks in the cartoons. 
I like a bit of uh, elevation and stuff. I yeah, think it's kind of boring if the whole country is completely flat. Yeah, it's yeah. very boring. What can I do, Netherlands? <laughs> but mountains have their disadvantages because it makes it harder for transport and stuff. Yeah, good for defense though. True. Yeah, it's a great way to keep out enemies if they have to climb over an entire mountain. The height advantage. That's what the, the Chinese did. They built a great wall on top of a mountain to keep the Mongolians out. We're gonna build a wall to keep the Mongolians out! And that's proof that, the, that walls work, huh? They built that wall 10,000 years ago and Mexicans have still not invaded them. Yeah, there are also no Mexicans in Berlin. The Berlin Wall. <laughs> are you building some rails that go into the cave? Because that would look pretty I cool. have not done yet. Done that yet? Well, then do it. Okay. Because this is the entrance to a mine, not just a, any cave. It's a mine. Mine shaft. My shaft. Also, any beautiful city should have a river running through it, shouldn't it? Most cities have rivers anyway. Yeah. Cities just naturally form near rivers because it's good for transport, good for money, economy. Yes. I believe 60% 60, 60 of the uh, world population lives near the ocean. Okay. So yeah, global warming, good news, guys. Rising sea <laughs> levels. We're gonna see mass migrations never before seen in any other century when the sea levels start rising. Yeah, when the sea level goes up, the cities near the shore are gonna be the first ones to go down. Yeah, a lot of people are gonna be homeless and they're gonna be looking for new places to go. Ooh, that uh, does not sound good. My prediction is in 500 years, everyone will live in one mega city. You mean everyone in the world? Okay, well, there will be a couple mega cities, but they're gonna be high up away from the water and stuff. Okay, that's how the world used to be, huh? Because uh, that's a long time ago. Billions of years ago. I'm gonna have to interrupt you because uh, we only have six seconds okay. and this build looks fantastic. Oh my, oh my god. god. This looks phenomenal. This is the best cave we've ever built. Wow, good job. Seriously. So first one, typical. Cool. Okay. I haven't even looked at our build until uh, the last second because it was just busy spamming the whole time. Well, it's beautiful. It says, Cake. Fudge cake. I love fudge cake. Okay. Beautiful. Nice one. Beautiful like on the that. outside. Oh, look at the interior too. Beautiful they... on the inside. Wow. Nice. Actually legendary? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Oh. Had to turn around. Cool. Nice. They got like a parkour in here. Parkour? Uh, where do you see parkour? Not a parkour. Oh my oh god. My that is god. beautiful. We have a mountain. Ah. We have a wooden gate into the mine. We have a sign. We have rail. We have rock. We have leaves. Legendary. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Excuse me. 100% deserved. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have a cave with skeletons. Cool. Minecarts, Enderman, zombies. Wow. Where's the entrance? What is this oh. biome? They used uh, ice planes. Ice planes. Looks kind of blue. Yeah. Because it's cold. Wow. Nice. nice. Look at all the diamonds oh, oh, hanging cool. on the ceiling. That's cool. That's really cool. I pick. Yes. We win. Baby. Baby. Beautiful. Good job. Best cave build we've ever done. Hands, Hands down. down. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. No doubt. No doubt. Last round, baby. Test sushi drum kitten rubber duck. Looks like sushi is winning. Don't tell me we make another guy with arms and legs. Let's make another sushi man. Screw it. <laughs> He's got shoes on and everything? No, it's just his foot. <laughs> What's that made from? Rice. rice. A rice foot. Rice foot. Exactly. Cool. Why does sushi have to be so expensive though? Because uh, it's fresh fish. Mm. Fish, fish is expensive. Fish is so damn expensive. All seafoods, huh? Including overrated ones such as lobster and crab. That's very overrated. Yeah. Lobster. Lobster no flavor. has no flavor. It tastes like seawater. Yeah. You have to use so much effort to get all the food out of it. All the meat, you know? You barely yep. get anything out of it. I'm willing to bet that if you were to take all the meat and put it next to the original lobster, it would only be like half of it. You know? So much oh, is... Way less than half. Way, okay, less than half. Yeah. Because all the good stuff is in the, the legs, right? Nobody eats the body. Mm hmm Yeah. Let's... Uh, Gonna give him big eyes. All right, big eyes are associated with the cuteness because babies have big eyes. But babies aren't cute at all. I know. Babies are disgusting. But a little puppy or a little kitten. Yeah, those do. 
Is that offensive? Saying that babies are disgusting? Oh, are the babies gonna be offended or something? No, but the mothers. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you say your baby is disgusting, <laughs> then yeah. I would never do that. <laughs> I would never go up to a mother and say, your, mother, your baby looks disgusting. Uh, Ma'am, your, your baby is disgusting. This is my theory. Anytime someone says, your baby is beautiful, they're lying. Especially not if they just came out of the womb. No one says that. <laughs> no one says, oh, look at that bloody thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think it's not until like age 3 that they start looking cute. Mm. And then at age 13 when they start going through puberty, they, they become scary. Scary? They become moody? You don't want to walk past a group of teenagers <laughs> who are just standing there menacingly. And then they whisper something to each other and then they laugh. <laughs> are you speaking from experience? <laughs> the last time we did a sushi, we added a top hat and that one. Is this one gonna win? This one doesn't even look like Suji right now. Yeah, this I agree. This looks like a guy with a something strapped to his back. Okay, what do we do? I don't know. Top hat. No. <laughs> <laughs> Should we make giant chopsticks picking it up or something? I don't know. So we give up. <laughs> we went from that amazing cave entrance to this. It's super lame. Yep. But at least it looks cute, True. I think. So we lose then. Alright. Here we go, time to start voting. First one. one! Nice. They are sitting on their knees. That's a traditional way to sit in Japan, I think. Sure. Oh, it's a witch or is this racist? Did they stick the chopsticks in there? Come on, they made his face yellow! <laughs> <laughs> it says sushi. Okay. Cool. Pink, yellow, blue. Nice. Uh, Prismarine. A bed. This is lame. Okay. Two pieces um, with okay. smaller pieces on top. <laughs> Lame. It's is that the guy from One Piece? Yeah. It is, huh? Mickey, what's it called? Mickey? No, you mean Monkey? Mon monkey. Monkey D Monkey Lock. something. This guy's holding one chopstick in each hand. It's <laughs> like he's using it as a knife and fork, isn't it? That's not how you do it. Nice play. Um, yep. Nice pieces. Good. Cool. It's not one piece, but multiple pieces. Nice. Five piece. Most beautiful one so far? Definitely. Are they using metal chopsticks? That exists. This is the flag of Japan right here. Oh. Or is it a piece of sushi? That would be a weird sushi. This is like a house? Oh, it's a temple. Uh? Right. But where's the... But where's the sushi? Where's the sushi? Boop. Boop. That's our guy. <laughs> uh, you never know. Maybe we win. You never know. I doubt it. That's cute. Some more sushis. Yep. Cool. <laughs> Look at the question marks. The three question marks come out. Oh. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye. <laughs>